Hey guys, it's Sean, Autotopia LA, and we are up in paradise. We're on Angeles Crest Highway. The roads are pretty clear for us because it's bright and early on a Thursday morning. Arguably two of the best American cars ever produced. The ZL1 and the GT350. My buddy Tyler, where's Tyler? Tyler's over there. Say hi, Tyler. Hello. <laughs> Tyler just got the GT350. I've had my ZL1 for about nine months now, but I got fresh tires, man. I just got tires on Monday. So we're gonna go do a little cruise, have a little bit of fun, show you guys what one of the greatest roads in Southern California looks like, and uh, enjoy the ride with us, man. I know we're going to. traditionally uh, he was more of a Ford guy growing up and I was more of a BMW Porsche guy so I know Tyler well enough to know he's talking about just how great American cars are now he has a ZL1 Camaro Chevy and I have a Ford pretty odd how that happened the last few years here we have American cars that are every bit as good as the European cars America's making some of, frankly, its best cars right now. Uh, you know, from my perspective, this GT350 handles with the best of them, the flat plane crank V8, and has so much more character than most of the turbo engines we're getting now. And the ZL1 is outstanding too. And objectively, it, it's definitely better than the GT350. So I think the sound of that car, um, I think it definitely trumps the ZL1. Just that. That high revving motor is really beautiful. Having driven them both, um, hands down, no question about it, my favorite car of the two is the ZL1. It has a supercharger, it's faster. I love the fact that this car has about 120 more horsepower, way more torque. The ZL1 suspension and chassis, in my opinion, kills the GT350, and that's the big piece for me. The GT350, the sound's insane. It's a little bit more alive. It has a little bit more feel. Both of them have exceptional braking with Brembo's. America now is building a car that's really an all-around package, not just a straight line, not just you know a good sounding car, but all-around package. <laughs> actually agree a lot together we we pick them for our own separate reasons but we generally agree you know the, the pluses and minuses they're both amazing you really cannot go wrong of either one they're, they're tremendous cars he's been converted here he is going from Porsche and BMW to now he's driving a Shelby GT350 so let's get on this thing now <laughs> a little tracks control there on that turn. Very little effort driving, you know, pretty good clip here, man. Of all the options out there in the price range that I was in for this car, I dare you to try to beat this car. Any of you guys, feel free to throw out the comments and tell me what I could get for the $70,000 price range. That's, that's as impressive as this ZL1 is. I dare you to try to prove me wrong on this one.
That was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> we always have fun doing this, man. Right. It yeah. was, uh, you know, the ability to drive two of America's best, probably, performance cars. No question about it, dude. Yeah. I mean, no question. The the And they're, it's funny, they, they both do different things really well. Right. I mean, I was saying as we're driving, I my preference is the ZL1 overall. Right. Yep. But... I mean the flat plane crank motor. It's just, just so the tone, dude. Freaking good. The tone it alone. I mean, so you could sit there and rev it and be happy about yep. it. You know. And it'll be interesting because we recorded talking about our cars. So I don't know exactly what you said and what you know, you don't know exactly what I said. So we're I'm, gonna find out we'll find by out. now. You guys will know. <laughs> Either yeah. way, you can't go wrong. The idea yeah. that both these cars for 70 or under, yeah. you're getting cars that, that will compete, they'll hold up with any of any of the best cars that are in their category as far as the Europeans, the Japanese. Right. Mm -hmm. um, and then the fact that we get to, you know, 20 minutes, 25 minutes from my shop, we're right. up here. Yeah. Look where we're at, you guys, look around. <laughs> I mean, this is, you know, we're in paradise with some incredible roads. Anyhow, dude, I'm glad we did this today. So it was awesome. We haven't driven together in a while. I know, it's been know? a while, and now I'm kind of part of the crew here. Right. We're driving something American, which is so funny, because traditionally, as I've always I've said. I've only seen you drive Euro stuff. Actually. Euro stuff, Porsches and BMWs, but hats off the Ford and Chevy. Well, that's it for today, you guys. Hope you had fun with us. We'll see you in the next episode. <laughs> Later.